I'm Jane Branch, as some of you may know anyway, and um, I live in Tynmouth and have done so for the last 22 years, and I love it here. How long have you been doing your art for? Well, now that is an extremely difficult question. I'm sure it is. <laughs> because um, my mother was an artist. Oh, wow. So I was brought up as a child to always paint or draw just for the fun of it. Um, at school, I was academically useless, but I was good at geography and biology because of drawing the diagrams oh, wow. and the maps, etc. Art was my best subject at school. It was an expensive um, uh, private school, oh, convent actually. Okay. And my father decided that he was wasting my money there because it's quite obvious I was not going to go on <laughs> to an academic career. So at 16, I left and went to art college. So as from art college at 16, I have been doing art all my life. Wow, that's, that's amazing. And there um, have been breaks. Yeah, yeah, well, of course, yeah. yeah. What does your art represent? What did it represent? Yeah. <laughs> Now that's another difficult one. That's a hard one, yeah. Um, I find that very difficult because I think I would say that it represents my feelings towards a subject at any given time. Yeah. My, my art has changed quite a lot over a period of time. And... Um, I was working and one thing and another, bringing up the family and one thing and another. When I finally retired, I had my own business doing design work in um, uh, ceramic tiles and murals, painting murals. Wow. And that was all commissioned work. So I had to do what people wanted. I was given a brief and I had to work to the brief. When I retired, and came down to Devon, I was then able to do what I wanted. Mm. So I then started painting anything and everything, whatever whatever inspired me at the time to paint. Oh, wow. So it's difficult to, and then I, I did a lot of sea and rocks, because we had a um, place in Cornwall we could go to, and I did a lot of sea and rocks, and that was my thing for many, long time. Long right. Time. And then I started getting more interested in figurative work, which is what I've been working on more recently. Oh, great. Um, so, because I can see you do, a lot of, some of your drawings are black and white. Yes. Uh, do you, why do you decide to, to not use colours in some of the paintings? I love monochrome work. Right, I yeah. Love it. Um, I, a lot of my paintings, I went through my black and white period, <laughs> like Picasso's blue period. Um, I went through a black and white period when everything I did was monochrome, oil paintings, everything a lot. Oh, wow. And I love, I love working in black and white. I love the lights and the darks, and colour is just not so no. important to me yeah. as tonal values. Yeah, it's very interesting. Sometimes I feel like it can be so much more emotions to it when it's black and white. Mm, yes, I, think uh, so, I love yes. it. Colour doesn't get in the way. No, no, yeah. yeah. Um, can you describe a real life situation that inspired you? One? Or many. <laughs> I mean, whatever you like. <laughs> well, I think. Um, the figure inspires me. I've done a lot of life drawing, mm. life drawing classes, and the figure inspires me. And I love the um, juxtaposition of figures together, you know, when they're standing. And the thing that inspires me about these is um, the way people stand and the, the abstract negative spaces between the people and their legs and such like, but I can't say there's any one. No, that's no. that's that's. I, I just fine. get inspired by lots of different things. Mm. Lots yeah, that's wonderful. Things. I'm not channeled. Yeah. Um, of these four paintings here and drawings, which one is your favourite? Well, <laughs> they're different. 
different, of course. They I, are, I for think sure. that one's my favourite. Yeah? The, yes, Grand Central Station, New ah. York. But that is partly because I spent a whole day there um, sketching. So did you, so you sat, sat the, whole, the whole day? Yeah. I, I'd had a sketchbook and I oh. moved around and did sketches, little sketches. I oh, spent a whole day there wandering around and looking at it. Took lots of photographs right. and then worked on that from my sketches and my photographs. That's wonderful. Do you, do you travel a lot? Or have you been travelling? I've been travelling quite a lot in the last three years. Yeah. yeah. And do you do you paint do you bring your paint with you or your, your I always pens? take a sketch with yeah, me, sketchbook. yes. Not I don't take um, acrylics usually mm. because they're heavy. Yeah. I might take some watercolour mm. um, which I'm not very fond of using. Right. It's my least favourite yeah. medium watercolour. I suppose everyone have their favourites. Yes. Yeah. yeah I, think so. um, I, I find this these two here very interesting. I'm just wondering if you could tell me a little bit about them and you Yes. Made it. Well they that um, theme has developed from um, my drawings and some oil paintings I did of people at an exhibition. And I went through a phase when I'd done a lot of painting and I felt I had to do something manipulative and more creative with my hands rather right. than just painting. And I'd done a bit of pottery in the past, so I started making some figures because my theme was figures. And I made some little statuettes. Right. And then I then felt, well, why not combine the figures with the paintings. It's just very and different. So that's what I did. So I did, I've done a, a, quite a lot in the series. Yes. That's wonderful. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs>